Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are returning to our Union campaign on Ultimate General Civil War. Our last battle, the uh, Battle of Gaines Mills, we won, uh, but it was a pretty costly victory. As you can see, our uh, first core is a uh, shadow of its former self. Second core is doing okay. Uh, got a little rebuilding to do. Um, and what I did at the end of the battle was I think I used both my points for Army organization so we can now have a third core and bring our brigades up to 2,000. I've noticed the Confederates are pushing and or exceeding 2,000, so I think it might be time for us to match them. Um, our next battle is the uh, major battle of Melbourne Hill. Um, the game has it listed as its own standalone grand battle, but it was part of the Peninsula campaign, and it was uh, the last battle in the Seven Days battles. I'm not sure why they have it all by itself, but whatever. So let's get to rebuilding. Now, first decision we have to make is, are we bringing a brigade strength of 2,000? Uh, or are we going to bring it, say, maybe 1,800 per brigade? I've been thinking about it, and um, at this point, I'm thinking maybe the 1,800... We'll start out with 1,800, and then um, we'll go from there. Now, first thing I want to do is actually promote who needs to be promoted. And replace the uh, wounded commanders. And he gets a promotion. We do have a brigadier in the uh, in the academy. We've also got some colonels, but <coughs> for the uh, for the artillery, which happens to be our only two star brigade, by the way. <coughs> All right, let's flesh these guys out a little bit. Uh, I'm going... I don't want to lose that much. Uh, how much it costs to go veteran? Veteran up to 1,200. And then rookie up to 1,800. It's still costing us quite a bit in terms of our uh, stats here. All right, so just bear with me while I uh, rebuild our army. Sir, yes, sir. As long as it doesn't drop us down up here, I think we'll be okay. All right, bring you back up to 12 guns. Okay, now we can uh, actually add another brigade here. That might be handy. Get everyone rebuilt first before we uh, start adding. Lost a lot of guns. I think we lost our entire art artillery brigade in this uh, division here. Whoops. Now something else I uh, want to do is 
take a look at our forces armaments and see if we can improve any of those. Brigade of Infantry. costing us quite a bit doing it like this, but I don't want to go, I don't think I'm going to be able to now. I'm going to have to go all veteran with these guys if I want to keep my uh, whatever that's called up there. Looks like we're going to have to do all veterans with them too. You're getting pretty close to being broke. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're uh we're hurting here for money. And let's see if there's anything we can sell. I don't think there is, yeah. It's not gonna do much for us. Tom Fields, we're not using those. Oh, they got good melee though. Right now we need uh, numbers more than anything else. So that gave us an additional... Oops. And we give them, that's a little better. Still afford 12 pound howitzers. We can do the Napoleons. Yeah. Alright, so this looks like it's as big as we're going to get it, unless we can do this for free. Yeah, these guys are still... They're not bad, but 1st Division suffered some serious casualties. Let's promote you. I think next time I'm just going to do this uh, either at the end of the battle or uh, do it off screen so you guys don't have to sit through watching this unless you're fascinated by army organization. And As always, I would appreciate any tips you could uh, throw my way here. You know, you see what I've been doing here, anything you would have done different or things that you've seen that I've done wrong, by all means... As long as you're not a dick about it, I will take your advice to heart. I don't know how much we're going to be able to improve these guys here. I don't even think we can go very far with the rookies. Oh, wait. Yeah. We could probably bring them up to about 1,700. Fourteen hundred with them. Now this just shoots the idea of uh, improving their weapons. Can we get up to fourteen hundred. I don't think we can. That was so close. Thirteen hundred. Like nice even numbers.
costing us money though. We're probably only going to get you up to about 1400. Yep. Alright, so we will add another brigade and possibly another corps. After the next battle. We gotta win it though. And I do believe um Melbourne Hill's a defensive battle. So Alright, I'm gonna save right here real quick. Take a look at our forces and go to Melbourne Hill. July 1st, 1862, the Battle of Melbourne Hill. After the Battle of Gaines Mills, General McClellan has been convinced that the Peninsula Campaign cannot last any longer. The main camp of the Union Army has been set up at Harrison's Landing to prepare for the withdrawal. Under the safety of his ironclads, General McClellan organized his last resort defense at Melbourne Hill, choosing you for the command. Quite an honor. General Lee is not pulling back. He gambles and decides to attack the heavily fortified position in an attempt to bring a decisive end to our operations near Richmond. Okay, so we're gonna obviously put our first corps, our strongest corps, at the front with our other corps as reinforcements. Now this gives us 2 Corps, 6 Division, 28 Brigades, 30,989 men, and 72 guns versus their 28,342 soldiers and 63 guns. So we've got a very, very slight numerical advantage. The Rebels are determined to defend their capital and our army cannot take any more beating. They are chasing us and we must defend again. The bulk of the Union Expeditionary Force has no more strength to continue. The majority of our army is embark embarking at Harrison's Landing a few miles to the south. We must hold our position on Melbourne Hill until we finalize the tactical withdrawal. The best ground to defend is at Melvern Hill's north section. Our artillery can see a wide area of open ground and butcher any infantry assault. It would be crazy if the rebels decided to attack the west side of Melvern Hill though through swamps and rugged terrain, but we must be cautious. Because that's probably more than likely what they're going to do. We can consider the west side safe from assaults too. Can we? As the small river and high cliffs should discourage an attack. Will it? Somehow I don't believe them. General Melbourne Hill is an impressive defensive location and the Confederates are going to receive a hard beating if they insist upon attacking. Let them come and take what they deserve. We expect the main force of rebels to come from this direction. Okay. That hilltop can be used to bombard our line, so prepare for counterfire. We also need some artillery batteries to oversee this hill area. If con the Confederates may use the trees to conceal and advance and attack us. General, it is recommended to stand your ground and not attempt to move away from Melbourne Hill. We hold a superior defensive position. We should wait for them to attack. That's doesn't really seem like a very good idea. All right. Got a wide area here we can be deploying at.
Uh, there's no cover over here, though. Okay, Loomis. Gonna have you up here. All right, let's start this and pause so we can arrange our troops the best we see fit. Okay, we're gonna have you. Take a position like this. Come on now. Do what I want you to do. And a little bit of a forward position. Actually put you up in these woods. Here. Have you stand at these in this wheat field? Shaver, you come up here. Really don't like having these guys out in the open like this. No. Whoops. We can pull them back, too. And our supplies. Okay, let's see how we do. Oh, we already see them. Which direction are they going to be coming from? Tempted to send some skirmishers out to try and uh, hold them back a little bit. And we're going to have you take up position in this house. Looks like they're coming at us from both sides. And they are moving artillery in over here. It looks like they're coming this way, though. Okay, let's move you up. Okay, we've already spotted them, and we're firing on them. Hey, Minty, looks like he's... Uh, and they're pretty evenly dispersed across both fronts. Got a sizable force coming around this way. Yeah, they think they're gonna they're gonna come through here, come around. I think they're going to come right over through here. May have to divert uh, one of our batteries over here to deal with them. them to get into these defensive positions here, but I may have to fall back into the woods and form more of a line here. They are kind of come at us from this flank too, so okay, nothing's coming at us from over here just yet. Okay, artillery. Yep, they're 
charging. Let's pause real quick. And have him come up and support. Walton goes need to support Minty. He's about to get pushed out, yep. Wow, we got a lot of troops coming at us. I don't like having Walton out here in the open like this. By himself, nonetheless, and they're coming across the river too. Fire. Loomis. Nope. Okay. General, get up there. Not that far up there. Pushing on Leonard. All right, they're got two brigades charging uh, Shaver. Oh, come on, Shaver. Minty's routing again. We've got hand to hand combat here and in the center. Oil's brigade's just standing here doing nothing. Okay, we just got pushed back in detail. We're going to fall back. <coughs> We're going to line down here. Fall back. Shaver. Can't do anything with you right now. Come on, come on. Confederates seem to prepare for a general attack. Brace yourself. Yeah, maybe I should have listened to the uh, advisor there that told me just to kind of hang out, let him come to you. Okay, Walton, Boyle, I'm going to have you come up with these positions right here. Okay. Let's pause.
pause here for a second. It's moving up. And we're going to have you guys maybe form up right here. Oh, I don't know what's happening there, but that works. All right. Double click. Double click. We're desperately needed. Okay. Shaver got pushed back out of the woods. Cover bonus 75. That kind of sucks. Okay. Focus on him. Shaver's doing the same. Powell, pick up position right here, focus on Law, Avery, I'm going to have you come up right here, well, that's a DH Hills division is advancing to attack our center. You know, we still got them coming in from this direction, but we seem to be holding our own in the center against the main attack. All right, Avery. Here. Boyle. We're going to take up position. Replace Shaver. firing way over there. Make sure everyone has their, their targets. You there, what are you doing? Okay. Law is taking heavy fire from two of our brigades. He's breaking. Okay. Anderson. Focus on Anderson. Avery, focus on Fulkerson. Okay, we got Barksdale over here. Looks like they may come at us from this uh, crossing here. Alright, we got some hand-to-hand -hand combat unintentionally going on over here. They're routing. Pushed them right back off off their uh, lines. Oh, Avery, come on! I know you're brave and all, but I didn't order you to advance into the field, into the middle field. Okay, Hood, focus on Hood. Everybody, focus your fire on Hood. Avery, we could take up cover here. Hood's getting pushed back. Cobb and whoever's over here with him is coming. Okay. They're getting pushed back there. Ames, I want you to move forward and attack. Looks like they may be coming around this direction too.
Alright, Shaver, do we have any spots in our lines that need to be uh, reinforced? Uh, I think I'm going to hold Shaver right there. Alright, Minty's moving into position in this uh, cornfield here. I think we did a nice job of catching them right in the open here. Powell. I don't think Powell's really needed over here. He's just kind of standing here in reserve. Let's find some better targets for our artillery. Okay, move you up a little bit. Okay, we're focusing on law and the other units that are coming into these woods here. Okay, we have pushed them back quite a bit. I don't think I'm going to pursue them right now, because I think there might be more than one phase to this battle. So... Okay, nothing's coming down at us from here. Shaver's guarding away over there. We're just going to hold our position. Looks like they're uh, forming up in the middle, but we've got the middle pretty well covered. Artillery, and you hit him. him. Young's brigade is doing a fine job over here. Well, if we could push him back even further, we could take up position in these woods, these houses. I have the. I don't want to get too far ahead of the objective, though. Then have them come around here with like a unit of skirmishers and take it, and I lose the battle. Because that's never happened before. At all. Okay, they are bunching up quite a bit here, so... Okay, let's see if we can hold them in these woods. Okay, I didn't really want you guys to go. Hold there. It's a nasty cover. Where are you going? Right there. Turn your lines, you're going to end up flanked. Was charging in, so is Hood, Fulkerson, and whoever that happens to be. Alright, they're coming down on us on this side too. And here come uh, these two brigades that were across the river. Okay. I'm gonna have to shift. Because now these guys are exposing their flanks, which I don't want. Okay, Powell, come back. Come back, Powell. I'm going to double quick. Double quick. His rear is flanked. He's routing. Avery is running away. He's routing. Oil just got pushed off. Got Shaver holding two uh, brigades at bay. Where do I want you? I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, we got two brigades here.
Okay, Avery, come up here. MacArthur, watch you here. Okay, Powell's focusing on him. We... Okay, good. He just got pushed back and then Anderson routed in return. Pushing on our center. Come up this hole right here. Attack on our center is falling flat. <coughs> on our flanks, that's a different story. Alright, Shaver's finally running. So we're going to have Walton and Shaver back here. I'm going to have to send them over to the guard. Maybe I should have pushed them forward. Wow. Where are you going? Get back up there and resupply him. Whoa. Right in your face. <laughs> hey, Walton. Come up here. One Shaver gets his wits back. One we'll of them come over here. What are we doing up here? them in the open. Minty. Let's focus on most pressing threat. He's wavering, so hit him with the uh, artillery. And a volley from Powell. These are, uh, these two brigades down here are kind of troubling. Shaver, go stop them before they get up the hill. Yeah, we really need to break up this bunch here. Okay. I'm fill the hole here. Pushing back. Alright, now they're starting to bunch up on our right. We got Amist Amistad and Malone over here under Huber. He just completely got wiped out. Focus on the next. Nope. Oh. up. Get our supplies back into a central location. We're doing way over there.
Oh boy, oh me boy. I guess that's uh initiative. Chase Trimble right back into the woods. Okay, how are we doing? They're not pushing the attack that hard. One's getting pushed back. Not, probably not a bad idea to have some of our artillery focus on, uh... Yeah. Focus on our rear here. Give Shaver some support. Oh, shit. Hey, Minty. What did that say? The Rebels keep coming. They've got courage, alright. Yeah. I guess. Minty, fall back. No. Leonard, you fall back. Gotta have you de deal with him. See who's pushing. Who's making a push. Oh shit, we got more objectives back here. Reinforcements are starting to arrive. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm going to pause right here and uh, take stock of the situation and um, then do some positioning. Let's see. What do we want to do?
Pushing off of that tree. Boyle just got pushed off by our artillery. We're kind of hanging out in the rear. Maybe we're seeing how to get up there a little bit. 
You need some moral support. Side. Um, one side actually. Thanks, boy. Is everybody doing something? Power is not. I can hold in reserve. Cook can hold in reserve. Not sure where he's going. Victory at Melvin Hill. Okay, so looking at the numbers here. We inflicted a lot more casualties on them than they are now. We're less than fifty percent. We're pretty bad, but we're less than fifty percent. We're way over fifty percent. All the uh, victory conditions. Some heavy losses there. Officers, only one officer, two officers wounded. Oh, Brigadier General is wounded. Oh. A bunch of promotions. Goods, we rescued Palmettos, 1843, some Rangers, 1855s we captured. And then Jay. Hmm. That might come in handy. Okay. Victory at Melbourne Hill. Two career points. Good for us. We get General McClellan. John Reynolds and the only 64. Hmm. It's still at 34. Well, 
Well, this episode went pretty long, so I think I'm either uh, going to rebuild off uh, camera or wait till the beginning of the next episode. Um, first thing we want to do, though, is a general day here, get himself promoted, so see, what do we want to do? Ah, there we go. Good job, Jay. Major General Jay. Rear point. Uh, I'm the rear point. I'm going to throw one in the supply and one in the medicine. Okay. Here, what are the ones that we captured on the G type? Oh, they look. Like, they don't look too bad, actually. Okay, so you got a lot of them. In there, I should see. Alright, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to wait till the next episode to do the rebuilding. Um, Leave your thoughts down in the comments below how you think I should uh, rebuild the army. Do you think I should um, just max out all the current brigades? Do you think I should make some more? I um, think the uh, third core should come into play. Um, like I said at the beginning, any advice or tips is more than welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you're a new viewer, welcome, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down there. Give it some canister shot. Or wait, that, that's the like button you're supposed to do something silly with. Anyway, do both if you'd like. Wouldn't mind interacting with you guys, and uh, we will see you on the next episode. Day 76 NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have a good night.